First up on the list goes by the name Notification Quick Tool Access and this application makes it possible to play some system tools like Calendar, Notes, Calculator and even Equalizer in the notification panel. And this is very useful, more like having some necessary widgets in your notification panel. And you can have more than one at the same time. Personally, I have a calendar added, which is useful for referring to any particular date. And I can also tap on any day on the calendar to add an event which will show up in the app. And also, notes for taking some quick notes, which will also appear in the application itself. So go ahead and try out this application. It is a free app. Once you allow all the necessary permissions, you are good to go. Then to my favorite on the list, we have a new wallpaper application called Lumina Walks. And boy, talk of a clean minimal wallpaper application with a smooth navigation experience, loaded with ultra high resolution wallpapers that loads very fast. Shout out to Sam Beckman for creating another awesome application. And even though I'm not surprised considering the previous applications he's created, I am still amazed by how satisfying this application navigation is, especially setting a home screen wallpaper. It is as simple as tapping on the wallpaper, choosing to set a wallpaper and then done setting as wallpaper. Very lightweight stuff. Seriously, most wallpaper applications, even the best and popular ones, takes more seconds to load a wallpaper before taking extra seconds to set as home screen wallpaper. And talking of wallpapers, this application features some exclusive artworks in different categories, most filled with premium walls, but you still have tons of real wallpapers as well. There are new walls added every day and with each of them, you can find similar style when you scroll down. And not forgetting the haptics in this application, it's so incredible. So whether you love minimal setups, bold setups, various types of wallpapers for both home screen and lock screen, you will definitely find some. Another useful Android application on a system level is this application called QuickShot. This app simply allows you to create a shortcut for a bunch of actions or activities on your phone, including shortcuts for contact, files on your phone, settings, websites, various activities performed by individual applications on your phone, and more. And all this comes with customization options as well. But not only that, you can also add quick tiles of contact, links to websites, apps, and also with customization. So you can add a quick tile of your favorite person's contact, which will allow you to quickly make that call. The app also keeps a history of all the tiles or shortcuts you've made, so if you stop using those tiles, you can come back here and reactivate them. QuickShorts is a free application with no ads. The next app is a launcher with similarities to the popular launcher launcher. It is a very simple and clean looking launcher with more appearance and customization options and all the necessary features of a standard launcher. However, what makes this unique is this hidden quick settings menu, which you can bring up by double tapping on the home screen. On this menu, you have several settings including now playing toggles, and you can edit this section with more quick settings or you can remove the ones you do not need. This launcher also allows theming icons and also allows you to customize the search bar by choosing either a search engine for it or just to search for an application once you tap on it. It is a pretty neat launcher with a unique feature. I always make my friend's jaw drop whenever I open this calculator application. It is called Silicon Calculator. And no, there isn't so much advanced calculation like we've not seen before, but really we have to appreciate the design of this calculator application. It looks very minimal and elegant with the little shadows beneath the buttons, would have preferred a click sound to make it even better. It also comes with a light mode and a history section, another amazing application to enhance your Android user experience in my opinion. This application called Priorities takes a slightly different perspective to task management and you are going to love it. You know most to-do applications have these fancy color coding and categories, task labels and so much more which is all great, but truth be told, most users do not even go back to these applications after filling it with so many tasks. Priorities brings a very simple and straightforward approach. You simply add a list of tasks and select three as favorites or of high priority, just like you do in a physical diary. And once you get any of them done, you just enter the application to take them. Trying this every single day, you will get really good at getting tasks done and with the history section, you can see your progress so far. The clean and minimal UI of the application will definitely make you come back to it. It is a free application, so try it out if you are not a fan of fancy and complex to-do applications. If you love free and open source offline music player applications, then check out this one called Symphonica. 
this one has a very clean and minimal material you interface you can create a new playlist add songs to favorites and even use the shuffle button to listen to music randomly from your list of songs the app also creates a daily shuffle of songs also in random to make you listen to different genres of music made into one playlist and even allows you to reshuffle with a tap of the refresh button and speaking of playlists you can create a new playlist as i mentioned and it also has a sleep timer it is a newly designed application but still looks great do you always find it difficult choosing who to perform a task at random or who among your friends should pay the bills or even who should start something well this lightweight application called chooser can stay on your phone and help you in these situations how this application works you simply put your fingers on it and with the colors the app makes the selections there are other different modes like dividing people into groups and others so with this application you can easily choose who to start a game or easily divide yourselves into groups this is a very fantastic application which is less than one megabyte it can stay on your phone unnoticed and will be very useful whenever you need it Vent Note is a note taking application with an easy and straightforward interface. Similar to the Notepad, this application has no fancy text formats or editing features, no categorization or note labels or groupings. You simply tap to add a note, enter title and then just add the note. With this user-friendly interface, this application serves as a place to quickly jot down ideas. Some extra features though, you get to change the accent color and also switch between light and dark modes. As a pro user, not only should you be interested in customization and enhanced features, your interest should also be in the internals, the system which holds the device. With this application called Amperflow, you will have much more insight in the state of your battery, especially the charging and discharging state. Whenever you insert your charger, the application will bring up an always-on display to display the charging statistics, the battery health, and also shows you the exact battery percentage voltages and so much more information and all these are very useful information you should know and in the application itself you have some customization options and some settings to make you get the most out of this application still on device system and battery if you do believe that overcharging your phone's battery or overusing it to the last percentage can cause the battery health to reduce over time then with this application called health battery charging you can get notified on when to charge your phone and when not to, depending on the high and low percentages you log into the application. By default, it shows you should insert your charger at the 40% mark and remove it around the 80% mark. This way, you can maintain the strength of your battery, so once you allow all the necessary permissions after you install the application, you are good to go. Click on the card at the top right corner to watch the incredible Android applications I reviewed in my previous video also click on the video at the end screen if you love home screen customization videos if you love this video then consider subscribing to the channel and also leave a like on this video and as always thank you for watching